So folks, I'm going to be doing that later this week. Sometime today. We're going to be try to, tr let me see, let me get the focus on this thing. There we go. You guys get that shot? Come on, focus. There we go. Let me point that out for you all. And this here, this here right here, right right there, guys. Um, that's what I got to trim this wire. I'm going to cut this off. Not the other ones. The blue wire is what you got to cut because it's actually pin number four. So for the quad five, you guys will see it here. Get that number four. See the number four down there near where the two pick is? You guys can see that. Yeah, the number four is right about down there. There we go. That's actually number four. You can see it on that side. Let me get a glimpse of it so you guys can see it better. That's actually number four, where that toothpick sticks in. Um, what that guy talked about on YouTube, Ground Control 204. He was talking about the Quad 5. You have to trim, uh, cut out pin number four. So you can actually use an extension um, mic for this, for a four pin or any kind of pin you want. This adapter, you can change any microphone with this, but... This is where you got to cut off the pin number four. It's actually the blue wire. I looked at it on the internet. It's probably it is. I got this from off of Allen Express during like about a month ago, back during Christmas. And that's what it is. All the mics look like that because I've done them like that. But those actually get the D104 working and probably the turn mic. But the D104 is actually a power mic. Any power mic will work with this. If it works right, like he said, if you're going to run a power mic or any other mic for it, like he said, the stock mic should be fine for that because that's what I'm saying. You guys can see that. I had to took that on screw, but don't worry. We're going to be doing that later today. And that's when I'm going to have to trim that off with, um, probably have to clip it off with some scissors or use an exacto knife to do it. Usually cutting off the scissors should take no problem with that. Very thin wire, but got to be very careful when I do that. Be very wise. It shouldn't be no big deal. But, um, I'm sorry, folks, but we're going to be doing that sometime today or this week. But I'll probably will do it later today. And we'll try it on the quad five a little bit soon later. So I'm going to put this video out here on YouTube and re-download this. And put it in the ed thing. Probably not. Do, I'm not going to do that right now. Probably will pause this video. And we'll probably do something a little bit later with this. Maybe we can try and test it out sometime today. That'd be nice. Maybe we'll try out one of those regular stock mics. Not a power mic. But maybe a power mic. We could try the D104. Because that thing takes a lot of batteries. But that's what I'm going to do. I'll see if that's going to work. We'll put the D104 on it. Put a battery in it and see what it does. Maybe we could try that a little bit later. I'm probably not, yeah, that's probably going to do it when I get a chance. I'm just going to re upload this video on YouTube later during the week. And that's what I'm saying. Maybe today will be a good day to do it. If the weather warms up right now, it's supposed to be like in the upper 60s or somewhere around 50 degrees. We get a lot of cold wind up here in these plateaus. I'm in the valleys. So that would be quite good. We'll try to do this today we'll do it. So I'm going to pause this video and do another video for a little bit later. We'll be able to do this soon and see how we can test it out a little bit later. And go on the next video in a couple of minutes. And it will fast forward in time. <laughs>